Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Irfan CFPS. Today is our 21st class in our NFPA 13 training series. In today's session, we are going to discuss about ESFR sprinklers for storage applications. ESFR sprinklers are fast response fusible element type sprinklers designed for early fire suppression. And they produce large water droplets and they are used in high challenging fire hazards. So let us consider an example in order to calculate the water demand requirement you know by using ESFR sprinklers. So here we are going to consider a storage warehouse and the type of ceiling sprinkler will be ESFR type. Commodity classification is class 4. Type of storage palletized. Height of storage 30 feet. Height of ceiling 35 feet and type of system wet type system if you want to know the commodity classifications and also the type of sprinklers you can refer to my video series of training module on nfpa 13 so we have all the data provided here on your screen so based on this particular data we are going to calculate the sprinkler k factor and the minimum operating pressure of one particular sprinkler so this is the table which we considered or which we extracted from nfpa 13 2019 edition you can see table 23.3.1 here since we are going to you know uh, consider wet type system and also the type of commodity is class 4 palletized i consider only this particular table from nfpa 13 if you want to uh, you know select esfr sprinklers for the other type of commodity you need to select the other table you can refer chapter number 23 of nfpa 13 in 2019 edition so here for your understanding i consider this particular example here we will see just a minute i will take uh, my yeah pen tablet so here yes now we have type of commodity class 4 so as you can see on your screen this is the table for considering esfr sprinklers through class 1 to class 4 commodities for palletized and solid piled storage areas so in our case the height of the storage is 30 feet so from here maximum storage height you can see 30 feet here and height of ceiling is 35 feet so maximum ceiling height is 35 feet so from here we need to select the nominal k factor of sprinkler generally we go with k factor 14 but you can consider the other k factors as well if you consider the other k factor like 16.8 the minimum operating pressure of this particular sprinkler is different as compared to the sprinkler k factor 14 for example here we are considering k factor of sprinkler as 14.8 and upright or pendant orientation can be used since this is a warehouse we consider upright uh, sprinklers and the minimum operating pressure in bar for this particular sprinkler will be 5.2 bar so it, if you convert in psi it will be 75 psi so we'll jump into the next slide and uh, you know try to calculate the water demand requirements as you can see on your screen we have uh, one more table Table 20.12.2.6 host stream allowance and water supply duration. In our previous slide, we calculated the K factor, I think 14.8, and the minimum operating pressure will be 75 psi. So these two we calculated or identified from the previous table. So here we are going to consider the host stream allowance and water supply duration. So, host stream allowance will be here our case is class 4. So, this table is applicable and we are not going to consider CMSA or CMDA. We are going to consider ESFR sprinkler, standard type sprinkler. Here we are going to, you know, select the design area of sprinklers as 12. 12 sprinklers minimum required to calculate the water demand requirements when we consider ESFR sprinklers. 
so this is mandatory you can refer to chapter 23 of nfpa 13 2019 edition you will uh, you know uh, identify this particular clause there so minimum 12 sprinklers we consider and here you can see host stream allowance shall be 250 gpm and water supply duration will be 60 minutes so from this table we calculate the host stream allowance which is about 250 gpm and the water supply duration will be 60 minutes so now we just note down all the you know things which we already determined such as k factor will be 14 and uh, minimum operating pressure from one sprinkler it would be about 75 psi host stream allowance 250 gpm number of sprinklers to be considered 12 as per nfpa 13 and the water supply duration required will be 60 minutes so in next slide we are going to calculate the water demand requirements so we already know the formula for water demand requirements water demand q will be k root p this is very very important you have to remember this particular formula when you have k factor and minimum operating pressure you can calculate the flow so flow from one sprinkler will be k factor we know as 14 root 75 psi it is coming around 100.8 gpm so this will be the flow from one sprinkler since we are considering 12 sprinklers so the value will be 12 multiplied by 100.8 so just we will calculate 100.8 multiplied by 12 which will comes around 1209.6 gpm so this will be the total water demand 1209.6 but in order to select the fire pump you need to add the host stream allowance in our case it will be about you know 250 gpm so if we multiply uh, I'm sorry if we add the 250 GPM to 1209 so we are going to get around 1460 so 1460 gallons per minute so now we have calculated the total water demand 1460 GPM based on that we are going to select the fire pump and the duration will be 60 minutes so if we multiply 1460 with 60 minutes duration we are going to get the water tank capacity which will be about 87600 so next class will be uh, interesting since we are going to discuss about indirect sprinklers Thank you. Till then, bye.